Hey everyone, so I'm back now today, um, and today we're going to be doing the, um, making some apple cider. Now the reason I'm doing this is basically for another cooking video I plan on doing, um, tomorrow, which will, if anyone watches this video except on the day it's released, then it's going to be a little odd, but whatever. Um, so yes, for the next video I do, um, and... So cut up 8 to 10 apples in chunks about the size you see here, like 1 to 2 inches big, um, not like just around that size. And then you're going to want to put in uh, about 3 to four, three fourths to a cup of sugar into this. And um, uh, you can do like a little more if you want. I guess it depends on how sweet you want it. Um, and you do this. And uh, first, though, make sure you filled up water to above the apples. Now they're going to float, so kind of push them down and do that to see. So, because if you keep filling it up, it'll never, like, really come above the apples. Um, that's just a side note. So, got your cup of sugar in there. Now, next, uh, what you're going to do is put in there um, a half a teaspoon of it's called pumpkin pie spice. Put that in there. Now that is to add some flavor, but that's not like all the flavor we're going to do. Um, next, add a half a teaspoon of orange extract. Then lastly, for what's going in this mixture anyways, uh, we're going to do vanilla. So just no specific really amount on this, just a few drops, several drops basically. Um, okay, so that's that for that. Good grammar. Um, so now, next, if you can see this bit of, of spices I have mixed up. So what you're going to want is five, I mean not five, um, one third a cup of cinnamon. Uh, one and a half tablespoons of cloves and two, uh, one teaspoon of um, nutmeg, sorry. Um, and if you didn't catch any of that because I was a little bit confusing there, sorry. And because uh, there is some background noise, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'll try to speak above it. Um, that is going to be your mixture you're going to put in. Uh, if you don't have one, uh, a cheesecloth. If you do, I mean, if you have one, a cheesecloth. If you don't have a cheesecloth, you can use a coffee paper filter, or you can also use um, uh, a thin, or just in general, a uh, drying or dish towel, uh, something like that. Uh, but that the reason we're mixing in stuff in it, in it and on the sides to soak in flavor and for flavor to already be in there, uh, just in the case that the way you did it, it doesn't work out because of the thickness of your dish towel or whatever, the flavor can get in there as well. So that's like a precaution for that. Now, like, now, as you can see, I'm doing it on the side. Mix up your, um, mix up your mixture of apples. Now that's eight to 10 apples, as I said before. I uh, just want to make sure you heard that. And, um, one, and so you're going to put this in the towel. As I mentioned earlier, I don't have a cheesecloth, so I'm going to use a towel. And, um, so put that in that. And, uh, get your mixture of apples and seasonings mixed up. And I'll be... Okay, so next you're going to want to put your apple mixture with the, um, seasoning, uh, pack thing. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, put it like just down, like just kind of put it in the middle. Try and get it in like under a few of the apples. Um, and then just boil that on high for 45 minutes, uh, 30 to 45 minutes, around that range. Um, and then, and then you're going to want to boil it for like about one and a half to two hours on, um, like, uh, towards the low end, between low and medium, like, let me show you. So, 
over there. That's what where the stove is on right now, and it's on high right now. And what I'm talking about by low, like right here, about so not medium and not like in halfway in between, but like right about there, like 40 percent in between. Okay, so that's what I mean. And then um, just cook them down. And when you cook them for the one and a half hours on low, you're going to want to cover it. And that's pretty much it. Um, and, and after that, you're just going to strain it out. Once you're done, take out this. And th you have your apple cider. So uh, I may put in a few pictures of its progress along the way. Um, but other than that, this is the last time I'll be speaking to you throughout the video, so thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy, enjoyed, and, uh, this is pretty much a prelude to, uh, a follow-up video I hope to be able to do, uh, tomorrow or the next weekend of, uh, possibly how to do, like, apple cider donuts, so, um, thanks for watching, and, uh, share this video. See you next time.